Welcome back for another episode of Marist's edition of Word on the River. I am your host, Eric Croce. Today, we're going to be going around campus and asking students about Thanksgiving, their Thanksgiving traditions, and quiz them a little bit about the history of Thanksgiving, maybe throw in a few jokes there too. So sit back, eat some turkey, and hope you enjoy. Uh, so Marissa, how does your family celebrate Thanksgiving? Well, we are pretty traditional. We watch football, we eat way too much. My grandma makes the best pumpkin pie ever. Do you guys celebrate Thanksgiving? Yeah. Yep. What do you guys do? I have dinner with my family. Same, but then I go and watch TV in my room. What do you watch? Uh, Alone in your room? No, with my family. That's so sad. The parade. Oh, you watch the parade? Mm-hmm. That's in the morning. Yeah. So you have breakfast for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Yeah, like you just said you had dinner. Bit, well, like a big turkey sandwich. What is your favorite food to eat for Thanksgiving? Stuffing. Out of all the foods, stuffing? Yeah, it has to be the outside stuffing, though, because the inside stuffing is never cooked enough. There's a difference between outside and inside stuffing? Yeah. Isn't it all inside the turkey, though? No. So isn't it all inside stuffing? No. Uh, the sweet potato casserole with the maple syrup and the almonds on top. That's really good. I could eat probably a whole th plate of that. No. I, that's, I don't understand. Like everything I've ever been taught, you stuff the turkey. Do you not stuff your turkey? We do, but I like the stuffing that co that's not in the turkey. What's your favorite food to eat for Thanksgiving? Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> do you like pie? No, I just eat rice and turkey. You don't like pie? I don't like, no. <laughs> I have never met a person who doesn't like pie. So it's not stuffing, it's just outside stuff. Yeah. It's not stuffed. Yeah. Well, it stuffs the pan. That's a good way to look at it. I didn't I didn't think about it like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. On Thanksgiving morning, one of my favorite things is to watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Do you guys watch that at your house? Yeah, and I'm really excited because last year I was in London for Thanksgiving, so I couldn't watch the parade. So I'm definitely gonna watch it this year. My favorite part is when Santa comes, cause then that means it's Christmas. Do you guys watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Yeah, just some of it though. It gets boring after a while. What's your favorite float? The Snoopy one. One year there was SpongeBob, and I don't really like SpongeBob, but he was really big and he was cool. So. Even though you don't like him? Yeah. You know, Thanksgiving, you gotta like everyone. Do you watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade? Yes. What's your favorite float? I have to say Snoopy too. Yeah. Okay, so you're just copying everything yeah. that Alex says? Hey, no, I said it first, but yeah. No answer. Right. They're yelling. So Thanksgiving, I have a lot of turkey trivia. Are you ready for this? Yes. How many feathers does the average turkey have? A lot. Too many to count. Do you have a number? Um, at least 5,000. 313. 44. 227. What? Did you know that? <laughs> How many feathers um, does the average turkey have? 330. 3,000 feathers. What? There's a, yeah. I was close though. No, you were not. Like the number was 3,000 is more than 300. Uh, yeah. Well, look. Sorry, you were wrong. You actually counted those feathers. Good question. I did that last semester. Oh. What ship did the Pilgrims sail on? The Mayflower. Where did they land? Plymouth Rock. In what year? 1614. That might be right, I don't know. I think it's 1620. Oh, can we round up? Yeah, that's close enough. Um, what ship did the Pilgrims sail on? The Mayflower. Good job. <laughs> um, the Mayflower. Good. I did not know the history. The Santa Maria. That was Christopher Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria, and the Mayflower. Okay. <laughs> Same thing. Cool. Yeah. Who was the captain of the Mayflower? John Smith. No, he was in Pocahontas. Now, uh, Marissa is involved with the fashion department here. So what did you think about the Pilgrim's fashion attire back in the 1600s? I actually saw a comparison to the Kardashian style in Pilgrims, and there's a lot of similarities. So the Kardashians were Pilgrims? They wore t t um, similar Pilgrim fashion. 
to the Kardashian. Do you know who the Kardashians are? Yeah, if you look it up. Do you know who the Pilgrims are? Yes, they <laughs> they wore a lot of like black, like recently a lot of black and like ties. They just looked <laughs> really pilgrim-like. It's it's nice, you know. It's professional. The Pilgrims were professional looking. Do you want to hear some turkey jokes? Sure. Okay. What's a turkey's favorite dessert? Peach gobbler. <laughs> I was gonna say turkey cubes. It's not really. Why would a turkey eat a turkey cube? That's called cannibalism. Yeah. What is Miley Cyrus's favorite part about Thanksgiving? Oh God, what? Twerky, like twerking, but turkey C combined. Can you twerk? No, I don't do that. I'm not Miley Cyrus. What did the turkey say to the turkey hunter? Don't kill me. Quack, quack. Oh! He's pretending to be a yeah, duck. Yeah, that's really clever. Because they don't eat duck on Thanksgiving, right. they eat turkey. Yeah, obviously. So Thomas Jefferson once said that Thanksgiving, and I quote, was the most ridiculous idea he's ever heard of. What? If he was here right now, what would you tell him? Why I ought not. No, I'm kidding, I probably couldn't take him. Uh, I'll tell him that I think he needs to reevaluate that statement a little bit. Is it so wrong to be thankful and to eat a lot? I like to eat. I, I love to eat. I'm hungry now. Can I go get some food? Let's go. Okay.